And then her, she said, get out. And y'all need to stop playing with my dog for y'all need to stop. Did you make no video? You don't know what her life is? I do know her life. Stacy, get the hell out of here. I can do the doggy for you guys. I do know my mama life. I definitely know my mama life. Well, you just want to record a video. Can I, can I do this now? Get out. Get out. Oh. Why I can't just be in her? Because you can't. Get out. But I love you. And you can get out too. You can't be in her with her. This is my sister. Come on, move your individual budget. You need to be on the other side. I'm security. Okay, secure that side. No, I'll secure this side for you. Oh. Look, you ain't even gonna see me or hurt me or nothing. Okay, now that that's over, hey guys, it is Kate to Show here, and I am coming to you with a nice little date night video makeup tutorial. So uh, let's get started. All right, we are going to start off with this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in number three fifteen. It has like an orangey kind of tint to me. Um. Works really well though. I really like it. Um, you, I got this from um, Walgreens, I believe. Um, I don't remember the price because I've had it a while. But yeah, you can find it at your local drugstore. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows. Um, this color is black brown. I usually use all brown like a brown eyebrow pencil but the black brown really works well for me too so I figured I'd give it a go and we're gonna fill in our brows all nice and pretty light all right next I am taking this concealer and highlighting palette from forever 21 and this one actually has a cream palette as well as powder. I usually use cream. I'm not too familiar with using powder to highlight and contour my face. Um, I actually used to work at Forever 21. And um, I'm probably going to do a video using strictly Forever 21 products to give a little review on it. Probably do that at a later time. But um, so far so good. I've only used it once. But yeah, it's, it's cool so far. It was... Um, $8.99. Yes, I am now highlighting. My sister is creeping in the background. Never mind her. <laughs> now I'm going to take my blender here and I'm going to blend in that highlight there. It's sped up so. Um, if this is your first time doing makeup, if you don't do makeup often, please do not just smear it. I just kind of like dab it. And with my brows, I use my fingers. I tried to use the blender, it doesn't really work for me, so I just use my finger to um, blend in my highlight around my brows. taking the powder highlight and using it to kind of reinforce my highlight. My sister suggested I do this so I figured I'd give it a go. As I said I'm not too familiar with using powder to highlight but it actually works really well and um, gives you a nice bright and you know really polished finish to your highlight. So it's worth a try. Next, 
I'm going to be contouring. As you can see, that brown is really almost my color. This particular palette doesn't have like a darker color, uh, contour color. The powder does, but I don't too much know how to use it. So I just decided to um, go with this to go for my contour and I applied it to the sides of my nose um, under where I highlighted on my cheekbones and also along my jawline and my forehead. And once again I'm taking my blender and I'm blending in that contour and along my cheekbones I'm blending up into my highlight as you can see. So I decided to go ahead and use the powder to reinforce my contour just as I did with my highlight and I am using my blender brush here and um, also I got these brushes from Forever 21 as well. He came in like a six pack and they're both double sided. Um, I can put the link for all this stuff in the description box if you're interested in purchasing or you can check out your local Forever 21 as well. You can see I'm um, taking my brush and I'm reinforcing my contour. And I'm going to take the other side and I'm going to blend it in. As you can see, I tried to use my blender to do this with the powder, but I didn't like how it looked. It made it look a little dirty to me. So I took my um, blush brush and blended it in a little bit. And I'm also using my kabuki brush to kind of blend it in and smooth it out and make it look a little neater. Now for the eyes, I'm going to take our Love and Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, also from Forever 21. I guess you could say this is kind of a review for Forever 21 products too, but I'll give a more in-depth one later. But anyway, we're going to apply this all over our lids, like so. Next, I'm using this massive eyeshadow collection from Shady Cosmetics. It has a vast array of colors, as you can see. I don't know how many is in it exactly, but I'm going to start off with um, a white so I can make my colors pop a little more. And I'm going to apply that to my lids and an in inner part of my eyes. Next, we're going to take this light pink here and we are going to apply that to the outer parts of our eyes. And I stopped right like in the middle of my eye. up we have this nice lavender color I'm not sure if you necessarily want to call it lavender but it's purple and we apply that to the crease of our eyes then once I was done with that I took my blender and kind of blended them together Now I take my eyeliner that is also from Forever 21. I believe it's from Love and Beauty as well. 
with this liner it's really shiny I kind of don't like the fact that it's so shiny but this is the only um, liner that I have at the moment so I make do um, as you see I do my little cat eye here all right next up is mascara and it is also from forever 21 I did not have any falsies so I had to take the mascara and you know make my lashes pop a little bit which is cool because my lashes are kind of long anyway so you know that's fine And after I turn that around, this is my 10 color palette professional blush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this peachy pink for my cheeks. And I'm going to take my blush brush and apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take my matte lipstick from Absolute. This is by far my favorite color. It's called Old Mog, and I actually got this from my local beauty supply. I'm pretty sure you can find it at yours as well. And I absolutely love this color. It's, you know, dark, and it just really pops. Like, I really love this color. But first things first, let me uh, snatch this stuff off my head. One second. There we go. That's a little better. I mean, it ain't looking the best, but I think I can rock it. Um, but this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section and I'll be putting all of the products in the description box. And once again, I hope you guys really like. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to follow me on social media as well. Keep up with me. So until next video, guys. Mwah. Peace.